Microsoft Active Directory can now be integrated with Yaxdar P Service PBX Appliance Edition, Software Edition, and Cloud Edition. With this integration, you can synchronize your local AD users, organizational units, and groups to the PBX, and allow the synced AD users to directly log into Linkus UC clients by their AD domain accounts through single sign-out feature. In this video, we will take the Yaystar P Service PBX Appliance Edition as an example and show you how to realize this integration step by step. If you want to try out the integration, please apply for a free trial for our P Service PBX from the link in the description and integrate it with the Active Directory. For starters, we need to make sure that the operating system of the Active Directory server is of Windows Server 2008, 2008 R2. 2012, 2012 R2, 2016, or 2019. The P Service PBX has been upgraded to the version 37.8.0.25 or later and has been subscribed to the Ultimate Plan. By the way, this integration is based on LDAP or LDAPS. So before the integration, please make sure that the port for LDAP and LDAPS service is accessible on both PBX and Active Directory side. If you don't know how to do that, please refer to a Microsoft manual or turn to your Microsoft provider. Then we will need following information from Active Directory for the integration. The IP address of the domain controller where your Active Directory resides. The distinguished name of the directory node where you want to start querying. The username and password of an Active Directory domain account in which the username should be a distinguished name or user principal name. The account needs full access to the desired directory, so as to read the directory information during synchronization. Now that we have all the information and access, we can start the integration. First, log into PSERVICE PBX Administrator Interface. In the Integration, find User Sync and SSO, click on Integrate, and we will see Active Directory. Now we need to fill in the Active Directory server information to the PBX. In host IP, put in the IP address from Active Directory domain controller, and in protocol, make your choice between LDAP and LDAPS. Then in port, put in the service port of the LDAP. Then in base DN, we enter the distinguished name of the base entry to specify the starting points for searches in Active Directory. Then we need administration account authorization. In the username, we put in the DN or UPN we mentioned at the beginning. Then in the password, we put in the corresponding password. When finished, we can click on Save. Now a pop-up window will appear to indicate us that the integration on the server level is finished. We can also check the status on integration page to reassure. We can move on to sync the users and organization units from Active Directory. Okay, now we move back to the user and SSO. Here we switch on the user synchronization. Then we can set the user range for extension auto creation. It means that the chosen users from Active Directory will have their corresponding extension automatically created on the PBX. So we need to specify who will be synced to the PBX. Please note that the range selected here must be correspondent with the base DN filled in the previous step. Here we have four options. We can choose as we need. Then we can move on to decide how we want to assign the extension number. We can set up assign automatically and define the initial number. Or if the extension number is already set in the Active Directory user account, we can choose read specific property value and then point out the property name in Active Directory user setting where the number is configured. Then we can decide under what condition should we delete the extension. Then at last, we can decide if we want to enable auto-associate extensions with the users that share the same email address. Now when everything's done, click on Save. Then we can go on to sync organization unit to PBX as extension group or organization. Go back to user sync and SSO page and enable organization unit synchronization. Then just as before, we specify which organizational units do we want to sync from the Active Directory? Then we can move on and configure to sync the organizational units to the PBX as extension groups or organizations. Then when everything's finished, 
we can click on Save. And for the last step, we set up the SSO for Lincoln's UC clients. Here we find Enable SSO and switch on. Then in Login Address, we choose the local IP address for local sign-in and domain for remote sign-in. Then click on Save. Now we have finished the integration between Yastar Pizzeras PBX and Microsoft Active Directory. That was all for this one. Hope you guys like it. And don't forget to apply for the trial license if you want to have a test. Of course, don't forget to subscribe our channel. And I will catch you guys in the next one.